Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Monsieur Mokuldavar, and we're playing as Uruburos. So, I'll be honest here, this is not where we left off yesterday. This is basically a different campaign because apparently I forgot to save the last episode. The very, very, very first episode of our campaign, I forgot to save the game, I guess. Regardless, here we are, but we have the Wealth of the Springs. We have, through countless efforts, managed to contain and neutralize the threats that existed within the pits. There, at the deepest level, they found something they had not expected. A lab? The lab belonged to a company known as Agricola, the scientific arm of the Hornwright Industrial Mining Company from somewhere out east. It seems this place, Burnham Springs, was at one point meant to be a nuclear waste dump, the world ending before they had a chance to properly seal the transported materials. Over the centuries, the radiated materials leaked out into the minerals in the cavern, into the people that went down there, and into the legends of the wasteland itself, spreading the stories of the fabled Burnham Springs. Well, this lab, I can accomplish so much. Wow, we're getting a research slot. Look at that. Cool. Uh, we should have pretty much everything exactly the same as the last episode or where we ended. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't even save the game. As to indentured for life, those who work to betray us will be punished as to teach the others in Ouroboros a lesson in disloyalty. We put these raiders to work in the mines permanently, which I remember we did do that one, but maybe I did one that we did not do together. Regardless, we have a fourth research slot, which is awesome. More air attack, air stuff. That stuff is okay down here. Eh, that stuff is really just okay. Construction speed would be nice, though, actually. Yeah. Let's just, oh, we gotta get more compliance. Let's go with infrastructure standardization. I asked you guys like a question yesterday whether we should do... Dark Moon Rising or Dark Moon Falls, but we'll get to that once we get closer to the focus. Cool. So we can become a spy master. I'm gonna wait first, but the Cabal. It's not a bad name. You think it'd be better? Oh, the scavengers found something. Better in our hands than our enemies. Great. Is there a better name than the Cabal for our nation, the Uruburos? And someone said apparently in the comments yesterday that they had an Uruburos tattoo. Yeah, it was, a, it was quite interesting looking up. Uruburos. Uh, just when I was looking stuff up for the thumbnail and stuff like that, just trying to figure out what this person's was, or who this person was, really. So let's go and do this. Root out resistance up here. That's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, so let's actually just, let's get through this and then we'll talk about how to pronounce her name. Day's Challenge. Oh, well, I guess I'll just say Ecate's decision to spend resources and send in soldiers into Burnham Springs clearly was a breaking point for the leader of Ecate's hounds, Jordan Day. Day. And if it rage to challenge Hecate, the goddess of Ouroboros, to a duel for leadership, if she really, was a, she really was a good, then surely it shouldn't be a challenge for her to beat Day. Ecate, in her aging years, isn't quite as fit as she was in her youth. Challenging Day directly in a fair fight would be foolish of her. Instead, Ecate went to Jordan's wife, Ivana. Hecate would give Ivana a simple request. In the morning, and when she goes to prepare Jordan's breakfast before the duel, Ecate wishes for Yavanna to serve her goddess and murder Day, poisoning her his meal so that he will die before even reaching the dueling field. Yavanna has a choice to make. Will she support her husband or her goddess? The moon rises, my god. The moon falls, my love. Ensuring Ecate will be killed and her and when her and her duel. Oh. Do we have to choose now? Okay, so oh well then we'll choose now then. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do this one or this one, which will result in the Dead Horse Raid and Final Revenge, or get Hounds of Colorado, or Alpha of the Hounds, which sounds really, really good. So, I'll probably play as Ouroboros again someday, but overall, there's actually equal support, almost, for either side. However, I had to look at the influence of each comment who's supported each side, so ultimately it comes down to the time of this recording that we must... Rise. So we're gonna rise. Yvonne poisons Ecate's blade, making her victory against Day assured. So the moon rises, my goddess. Day has fallen. Ecate's divinity has proven true and righteous, having been struck down by the goddess's will after demanding a display of strength from her. Ecate has begun the effort of more closely assimilating the hounds of Hecate into Ouroboros culture, seeking to ensure that all respect her divinity as any other faith ought. It is done. Very cool. Plotting the Legion's end. That's not bad. Cool, so we'll come back maybe someday and play this, because that's really good. Alpha the Hounds is really good. More political power gains, stability, war sport, and attack on core territory. Really nice. So, how do we pronounce Ecate's name? As you can see, okay, so one or two people tried to, to help me out in the comments below, saying it was either Ecate, 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 with no, with a silent H, or someone else said it was Hecate, Hecate, Hecate. It depends if you want to do the original, like, Greek version of it, I guess, or the more the English version where we kind of screw things up a little bit. So, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say it wrong pretty much every single time. Wow, look at that. 
Why can we recruit everywhere? Holy crap, look at that. Um, help out sometimes. We also have the followers of the apocalypse, so. So, no matter what I'm going to say, I'm probably going to screw up her name. I'm just going to apologize right now for that. So, Hecate. 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 I mean, I, I looked at pronunciations and it says Hecate. Hecate. So, Hecate. 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 Difficult. Unusual. But regardless. Diplomatic training, very good. And indentured for life. Well, since we're going down this way, I do want to go to war as fast as possible, so. Plotting the Legion's end. The Legion needs to end what they've done to the people of Urbaros is unthinkable. I will give them my revenge, but for that, I will need the lands of southern Utah in order to stage an effective front. What is this? Gehenna Siege Beasts. Oh. Every unit leader gets one planning. Agricola agri machinery, not bad. More like shock troops, more attack. Monsters of Legend. Ooh, Colorado Mutant Support. Ooh, Mutant Support. Someone did recommend that whatever comes out of the Burnham Springs, we should use. So, if we can, we'll totally try to use them. I already made our Hounds of Ekhete. 20 combat with, of course. I can't remember if we made them 20 combat with or not in the last episode. There's really not much us for us to use here, but that's okay. Local agent stuff, that is ridiculous. Um, yeah. That's a bit, a bit whack, I'm going to say. A bit crazy. We might want to save our political power to core, like... The deep mines or burn fields. We could raid people, but raiding, I'd rather just get rid of them. <laughs> just be honest with you guys, I'd rather just get rid of them. We'll probably need to get this guy too. Anything over here? Aggressive attacker, like we said yesterday, this guy's probably better. Vanish is going to war with the executives. Cambusher. Actually, how how much would it take for us to court places? 56. Uh, we could probably wait for that. Come over here. We got tribal scout kits, because someone did leave a comment in yesterday's video saying that we should probably get some or use some special forces in which. Why not? We shall. Get some crowd control gear. Thank you. Thank you. Minus 34,000 monies. Well, that's not good. Settlement builder. Fuel boy. Well, let's go ahead and just grab this person. Expanding the gang is probably pretty good to do. Plotting the Legion's End. So we'll probably do... Eagle Town Raid. First step into invading, to invading Utah is to take over Eagle Town. Pushing out the tribals that live there away from our lands. Cool. Oh, oh, we killed off Day, that's right. Oh, no. I even upgraded him. Gosh darn it. Inspirational, though. Ah, that's not too bad. We'll take a uh, person that's inspirational. Is that Eagle? That's Dead Horses, yeah. Nice. And we also have the person that gives us 5% more recruitable population, which is nice. Eagle Town Raid. So Eagle Rocks... Wait. Eagle Rock is over here. That's Dead Horses. Dead Horses is down there. So actually... Oh, good lord. Oh, I don't like... Oh, actually, we have quite a few different ways to get in there. So let's do 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, actually. That is very, very tiny. You can't even... Why is it all the way over there? Is it supposed to be over there? Huh. Chinla Band 2. We'll see if we can bust over. It's, it's going to be pretty difficult to do that, but we'll see what happens. Depending on how many divisions they have. Mobile Band. And this might put us at war eventually with the White Legs, maybe? Or the Mormons? So we'll see what happens. How much money are we making? 16? Not bad. Two more divisions? Not bad. Thank you. We're only making two at a time. Uh, let's go do this too, why not? If we need it, of course. Or new soldiers as well. Someone recommends I play as the NCR. Uh, maybe. We'll see what happens. I definitely, let's go here, scavenging efforts first. I don't think they have any unique focus tree yet for these guys. Find them will have a crimson caravan. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same since I left, last left it. Even though there is a few slight differences. I did play, I forget, local sympathies, political bandits... Uh, suppose Baja, maybe, I, it's been a while since I actually played them. I probably should, I should probably play them again before, uh, the next update for the NCR happens, which will be probably a pretty major update, actually, for them. But that's gonna be a while, so. We got some time. I say that, and I'll probably never, never even touch it. So I gotta remember to touch it. In the right way. In the right way. Not in the wrong way. No, no, no. Don't touch things in the wrong way. That's not good. Probably, usually, usually. Uh, let's grab some dynamite. Yeah, we like things that go boom. Ooh, we probably need more attack. Yeah, let's go and grab 5% more attack. Good. Someone recommends, like, the division templates that I use sometimes. 
Ooh, actually for you guys. 10 combo with that, that's, that's okay for now. Throw you on there. Yeah, usually I do 20 combo with This is usually good defense battalion or defense division for old world blues. You can throw in demo teams, even though we don't have it unlocked. They're just not great as an actual battalion. Infantry are just overall just better, in my opinion. They're just, they're good for defense. They give you a little bit more attack, maybe a little bit more breakthrough, but other than that, it's just not worth it. They don't have the strength as much as infantry to attack as well. Sometimes. Depends. Or defend. Regardless. My mind is slipping right now. But I use them for defense and for most of my armies. Mechanical servants. Adopt legionary roads. That's not bad. I kind of like that one. Let's grab that one. Although cause I reject most forms of automation and modern industrial comforts, it has not neglected the construction of roads in the old Roman style across most of the legion. With a bit of digging, paving, and stone laying, we can have a thoroughfare system that's just as intricate across our territory so we can build things faster and do what we need to do. Oh, they immediately attack us. Nice. Can we come over? Oh, okay, then. Well, if we can cut these guys off, that'd be... Oh, hello. My bad. Help him out. You'll be fine. There you go. Got the Junions, huh? Oh, if you go up there... There you go. Not just hold. All right, you guys go in there. And boom, 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 boom. There you go. Now they might be serving for supplies, maybe eventually. Okay, but if you want to abandon the area, if you really want to abandon the area, okay. Oh, they finally caught on to what we're doing. Very good. Very good. And now they're finally attacking us. I kind of figured they would, though. This is a very weird way of getting over here, but whatever, we'll take it. I mean, I'll take it gladly. If these guys lose, we're going to lose a few divisions over here, but that's fine. Whatever. We won't lose. Hopefully. Hopefully. Nice. Break over. No losses yet? Well, not too many losses. How many losses have we had? 29 versus 82, not bad. If we can take Eagle Rock, that'd be great. Now, these guys are cut off too, which is good. If you'd like to, you can help out. Um, okay. Well, whatever. Hey, we still have our ship there. That's good. He's getting attacked. Don't let him in. Don't let him move. Very good, very good, very good. Coordinated assault, very cool. We'll go with Trooper Warfare because we're mostly using... Well, we're not using motorized in this campaign. But it is what it is, that's fine, whatever. I'll go over there, maybe. Yeah, they're still attacking, huh? If they link up, it doesn't even matter. There you go. Nice. Can't quite win there. If you guys could win here, that'd be great. Yeah. There you go, kill them off. Oh, actually, don't get encircled yourself, sir. Adopt roads. And let's grab some boundaries. Those are okay. Weapon assembly lines. Many, one of the many stories that Anna told to Ekate was the story of Henry Ford. Fjord. According to legend, he was a visionary captain of industry who laid out great tracks of conveyors across the cities of Mi that assembled countless ebony chariots piece by piece, producing hundreds a day. The moral of the story was never to underestimate vegetables, as onion busting was his undoing in the end. Though we have no use for cars, we could ch or chariots, we could use a system for manufacturing weapons. <laughs> that's very, very, that's somewhat random, but yeah, I kind of understand it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys, just win. That's all I have to do is just win. It just works. Oh, wait, wrong campaign. Uh -huh. Local leader. We'll probably do local leader. Cool, and get rid of these guys. Dinamite. Thank you very much. All right, anti-tank. Let's just go and grab anti-tank because we're probably going to need that stuff. Which is super, super good. Thank you. And thank you. Awesome. Now, these guys aren't winning here, but the main focus is equal rock proper, so. Oh. Oh, we actually got it. Nice. So now we can kill these guys off. Five divisions is nothing to laugh at. Wow, that's pretty good.
Nope. 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 And we're getting Altona. Is that it? Well, the cutoff. It's it. Not bad. Now that's going to be a lot of resistance to deal with, but I think we'll be okay. Nice. I love Utah. Actually, do we get any reduction in coring costs or anything like that? Or Crazy Horton's raid, which might put us at war with some other people and go to war with these guys. Original Hounds of Ekate. Oh, we can invite them to our faction, but I think they're dead. They're fighting. After 2281, declares war on them. Should we do, like, the full moon misguided? Or should we do Lunar Sisters together at last? We can be Lunar Sisters. I think we probably want to go down this route just because we've already have had Day's wife betray him. So I think it's just, it just fits right. It fits more correctly if we go down the path. But let me know in the comments below, guys. What are your thoughts regarding that pathway? Four divisions will be good enough right there. One, two, we'll be good enough right there. I'm such a warmonger, man. Woof, I love it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Even though we could use an airbase since we are making some gliders, but hey, that's just me. Do we have any airbase? No, we don't. No, that sucks. Okay, so we've got plenty of political power. Uh, can we core anything else? It doesn't look like we get any help coring things, which kind of sucks. But coring things must occur. No matter how small or big. And definitely get less resistance targets and more daily compliance gain. That is so good. So good. Hmm. Oh, there goes Hangdog. Yeah, actually doing really well against a Warden. Nice. I haven't played as either one of them yet, but they're high on the list for me. Oh, you're out of manpower, though. And you guys have plenty of manpower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're, oh, robot. Oh, they're out of the robot city. That's kind of cool. All right. After them, Crazy Horns raid. The next step is to gather a foothold inland. The land the Crazy Horns own is perfect for that. So I'm thinking the campaign. This campaign. Well, if you're viewing this in 2221 or later on, you know how long this campaign is going to be. But for me right now, I'm thinking this campaign might go on until we have all of Colorado united, either allied or not with us. Perhaps. I'm not really sure how long the campaign should go then. Obviously, we've got to kill off Kaiser. I mean, that's, that's non-negotiable. Kaiser must die and pay for his sins. But still, hmm. Let me readjust you so you can fit down here too. There you go. Boom, boom. Keep that resistance nice and low. Yeah, we got. It. We want to finish the dry blowers off. Point eight jumps up to point two, and then point six maybe. Point five. That's oh, only point five. Okay, well whatever. That's fine. Nice. Soon enough, we'll have plenty enough compliance. We got some anti-tank rifles, which would be great. Get some healing powder as well, because I like that stuff. That's somewhat useful. Maybe not the most useful, but. At least somewhat useful. We got enough demo equipment, probably. We could do this. Maybe not. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Spec Ops, we'll just throw you on there, too, because we can. Just throw in the anti tank. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Whatever. We're soon to have some Spec Ops as well. That wouldn't be bad, but obviously we're out of money. Technology, research speed. Oh, bonus. It's only 10 political power. That's worth it. Penitentiary. Hopefully they don't go to war with us anytime soon. Um, we don't have historical on, so we'll see what happens. I need to still play a Santa Anderson because actually Santa Anna is really, really interesting since he does have Texas that he can't take over, so. Uh, Crazy Horns Raid, very good. Let's go ahead and do... Hmm. Fabricate electronics. The great city of Ouroboros. The Colorado River l runs along most of our southern border, easily gathered and mostly radiation-free. A coordinated efforts to gather water should assist the growth of our population. It has been the hallmark of our great city, a lifeblood of which we can have our civilization rival that of the ancients far, far to the east. Monthly population plus 3%. Recruitable population 2% more. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Yeah, oh, I guess we're done building civilian factories, eh? Nonsense. 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 And eventually, build all this stuff up. Even areas we can't go to because someday, someone will say, Hey, I want to get there. And we're like, oh, thank goodness they built roads. So we can go to war whenever we want. We'll, and we will. Do you guys have recruiting them young? What are you recruiting them for if they're young? Hopefully it's just warfare. Nothing, nothing, nothing else questionable, please. How are we looking here? Not too bad. Go and stop training. They'll get enough XP when we go to war. 
Give him a few seconds and then we'll go. Vamoose! Ah, look at that. Nice. New general. Richard Wright. Hello. He is an Ia. Oh, unless it's attacking defense. What the heck, man? What the heck is wrong with you, Richard? So you're going to be leading special forces. You're going to hurt us already. What the heck? So when's the last time I actually used. Recon in Old World Blues? Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's come down here. You could probably help pierce the attacks and stuff like that. Cool. Grab some of this description. Nice. Give it about five seconds and then we'll go to war. Let's see. Actually, eh. 98, whatever. We'll do it anyways. A little more manpower. No resistance. Solidly ours. That's worth it. Three. Two. I don't want to wait any longer. There we go. Do they attack us at all? Oh, well, they kind of are. That's kind of good. Mm, actually, there's a game plan. Let these guys get a little weaker. We'll attack here and go here and then cut these three divisions off. Amazing, actually. Get the special forces too. They're only 10 combat with, but with enough army XP, we'll do fine. Nice. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Let's go with three. Let's go with, actually, max you out. I'll put you at the bottom though. There you go. Not bad. Oh, and they stopped, huh? Well, go right there. And you can go right there too. Prepare defenses, nice. Let's go with empty armor tactics. We can only get 1.34 political power every day. Got some decode signals. Let's grab some encoded signals. Very nice. Self soft occupations. I like it. Soft. Very good. The great city of Uberos. Nice. And promising fields. Though we are a tribe defined by our greatness genetically, both fields of research and war fighting stand to make some improvement. With this in mind, we should begin looking into promising ventures for our best fighters and the brightest minds. That's a lot of political power, which I like. So that's occupation. Oh, political. Oh, that's so good. More political power. Yes, please. Point two a day. That is so nice. Ah, oh, so good. Force the attack. Push him in. Push him out. I don't know. Push him somewhere. Grenades, flamethrowers. I'm not sure which one we actually use for this campaign. Ooh, doggos. I like. We technically are the hounds of Akate. Doggos seem like a good fit. I want to make sure we get some better planes first, so actually... We... Hmm. We need some planes. Oh, you put three divisions there, I see. Okay, stop attacking then. So then I said stop, please, and thank you. If that's the case, come on down here. We'll do something like that. This way they'll attack us more over here. Nice, cool. Very good. Play enough political power, and we'll probably have to core Eagle Rock. Ooh, that's a lot. That's actually a really good one to core. 170 is not bad. Down here is 5,083. It's not nearly as valuable. Come on, guys, you don't want to attack me? Well, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Alright, attack there, and then attack there, and then attack there. Good luck. Or you might need it. We might not need it. Or we probably don't need it. Only 62% done, huh? I'm surprised they're not attacking you here, but whatever. Peace conference is over. Hey, good job, hang dogs. Good job. Uberos. That's the case. If they're busy. I'm gonna go in and do this. A little sneaky, sneaky. Force the attack, or help the attack, not force the attack. Attack it in two places so that they can't help each other out. Let's grab some vacuum tubes, everyone. A vacuum, vacuum. So what's good at vacuum? You make yourself clean. Usually. Richard, okay, goodbye. Mm, I don't want to lower my political power gain. Chief of the Air Force. Hey, we cut them off. Look, we cut, we cut off five divisions. That's pretty darn nice, I'd say. Now, these guys don't do well. That's not good for us, but the best. Soldiering is a rigorous task, and very few amongst us even cut out for it. With that in mind, we should make every effort we can to build our armed forces around the strengths of our best fighters and tacticians. Nice. Oh, that's not good now. Yeah, they'll definitely fail if they don't get there. 
Seriously, every time I use my special forces, they're just god awful. What the heck? Well, let's kill these guys off first. Alrighty. Oh, and they're, wow, they're actually attacking us quite a bit. Wow, look at that. Ooh, you know what? I don't want to lose. Actually, how are they winning over here? There's only six divisions. I guess I can kind of pierce us. Hmm. Well, as long as we don't lose here, that's fine. And in, in exchange, I'm going to exterminate these people very harshly. Well, let's become a spy master because we can. Commander training. We lose. The price is your life. How many have we lost for people? 250 versus 600. Not great, but hey, whatever. New Canaanite. New Canaanites? What are the Mormons doing here? Go and retreat there, that's fine. Actually, bolster our defenses there, too. Alright. Miracle in Boulder City. Boom. An unstable status quo prevails. Oh, wow. Good job, guys. Kill them off already. 800 losses, not bad. Oh. I see what you want to do. I see. I see what game you're playing. This is why you don't trust infantry too much. You definitely want another type of army help us helping you out here. Let's do that. There you go. Better. More better. The motorized flight grab some biplane fighters, even though we're not even using planes yet, which reminds me, planes. Oh, they declared one twin mothers already. Wow. Well, that's not good. I have a good feeling we got plenty enough planes already. Alright, maybe we'll get another airbase then. We've lost 500, 500, we killed off 1,000, that's not enough. Obviously not enough. Alright, you attack. We're gonna make sure we end you. Do we have any more manpower, maybe? Fruits of the labor, they still have some manpower. 13 divisions, of course. I mean, using infantry isn't very good, especially... And spec ops, that isn't very good as well. Alright, here we go. You're gonna win, or you're gonna die. No in between. Get these guys around, get some planning. Crush price. Nice. The best. All weather training. Let's grab some market quality, shall we? In the days of yore, you could be assured of a weapon's quality by the markings on its furniture. Long gone names like Mautzer, Springfield, and Klashnikov were well names well known and even more well respected. We should seek to emulate the commitments to robust design and cutting edge tech. Kalashnikov. Oh, I love Kalashnikov. Okay, seriously, every single time. You're gonna force the attack. I don't care if you win or lose at this point. You either win or you die. Same thing for you guys up here. Win or die. Finally, you took another piece of territory. Took, it, took them long enough. Oh, but one is gonna attack you because they're looking sort of weak now, which is good. Good. Now they're going to be done attacking us, and we're going to help support the attack. She has arm to clear one Eden. That's good. Ah, even more political power. That's awesome. But um, back to vulnerability. Eh, I'll grab the piercing. Why not? All right, help him out. Good. Thank goodness. Oh, that's chance, huh? Oh, you guys want to come down here? Uh, just hold for now. It's fine. Just defend. Yeah, we definitely gotta make these guys better. Oh my goodness, they're not good enough. Well, we can't get any more because we don't have enough divisions. Oof. Big oof. Well, they really don't care about their soldiers, so go ahead and force the attack. Force it. We'll win in a lot of areas. Not everywhere, but we'll win in plenty enough places. Good. Yeah, I'm not going to play games anymore with these guys. They don't deserve games. We've lost way more guys than I thought we would. I mean, our manpower is still pretty good. Can we core this? Yes, we can. Ooh, I'm going to core this instead. Oh, we're close. You know what? Can we core that? No. And screw it. Just core that one. There we go. Look. Dead soldiers. Yay. Yay. 
crush them. Come on, crush, crush, crush. Anti-armor tactics are nice. Keep going with the land doctrine. With voice and survivalism. Very good, very good. You're all gonna come here. And you're gonna do well, very well. Market quality. Tend the flesh, sugar the wound. Manpower is a resource more precious than any metal fabric or computer. Without it, everything we've built here will tear at its seams. In the interest of preserving it, we should develop medicinal companies to trail our armies. Cool. Bonus for medical attack. Twice. Nice. More soft attack, less production costs. Ooh, and support equipment's even more reliable and stuff like that. Nice. Quite a bit more difficult than I thought we would initially have a battle with, but that's okay. Can you do the frogs? Don't mind if we do. Alright, this area, definitely gotta get cored. Oh, we need 173, that's fine. Mm, help him out. Lost probably about a thousand. Oh, we, oh, we still have oh, this. Oh, my bad. Radio. Primitive radio, I should say. There we go, look at that. A little bit more manpower, a few more factories, and more resources. Yes, please, sign me up. Level 4, 62% becoming a hills fighter. Richard Wright. Well, I'm not learning too much. Ekate. Anything here? Anything here? No? Yes, maybe so. Oh, yeah, they're looking really weak on their special forces as well, so that's good. Come on, special forces. You can do better than that. You know, prospectors might as well. Promise of loot. That ain't bad. I like that one, but. Hmm. We'll wait. Yeah, I lost about a thousand versus three thousand. Obviously, not my best attempt at uh, casualty ratios, but it could be a lot worse. I've had it a lot worse. I think we probably all have had a lot worse. Yeah, they're doing like last stand or something down here. Holy crud! They're all busy. They're all dying, and that's all really good stuff. And it gets us a lot more army XP, which we could use. Are you tired or something? Oh. You're not allowed to be tired. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah open up the combo with a little bit more. There you go. Cut these. Uh, keep them in place. Kill these divisions off, too. Biplane fighters. Very nice. Can we get up this one? Yeah, we can. Lightweight metals. Cool. Even better planes. Tan the flesh. Sugar the wound. And rule the skies. Having boots on the ground builds a solid foundation for any military endeavor, but what good is a house with a foundation of no roof? Much of our focus should be put into both keeping our airspace clear and the enemies hostile. Seriously, how many victory points do you have? Okay, there we go. I was wondering, like, Jesus Christ, are you going to end this finally or not? There's no hope for them. We've lost too many guys for these guys, but still. Hmm. Let's grab another army. Or create another army out of the ashes of the old one. And it's not even the ashes, it's just Jesse's here. As soon as we hire her, or him, whoever, uh, it falls ill, huh? Not quite ideal, but whatever. Maybe okay. AT, or anti-tank rifle mastery. Very good, very good. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Very good stuff. Even though I should be focusing probably on some other stuff as well. Alright, so once we have another... Oh, we can't make any more, huh? Hmm. We're gonna need at least one more division here. Well, that's not good. So we have Fledgling Industry, Bounty of Colorado, well to Live Military, not bad, not bad, but I guess I will be right back. Alright everyone, sorry about that, but let us continue, ooh, we actually can go to war with the Dorid, or get this focus for Dead Horses Raid, after the 1st of January 2280, I want, why is that locked so far away, did they not expect us to do this well against... These other people, but regardless, I guess we should continue doing some industrial stuff. The brightest, how about that? The eternal counterweight to Brawn's brains by less than honest means, we've acquired a pretty high degree of intelligence from our stolen gene seed. Though fine thinking alone makes no results, it is time to put our efforts towards funding these visionaries and scholars. Look, we have a negative amount of political power because I believe I had cord, yeah, Altona, so that's good, that's cord. Uh, let's see, did I cord anything else? Ooh, Bermuda Radio is pretty nice. Let's grab, not that, eh, grab simple circuitry because we can. Mercenary conscription. Looking pretty good. Walking infantry gives more recovery rate, which is nice. More army force rate and special forces capacity multiplier, which is very good as well. We're going to need more soldiers here. Uh, ooh, look at that. we got soldiers right here too. Beautiful. Lightweight metals, don't mind if we do. Are we missing anything else here? Yeah, let's grab some of that. That'd be good. Public projects are pretty nice to grab. So many options for this stuff. Not really useful, but oh, we can tributize other people, huh? Poseidon Energy Schematics, very nice. You know what, might as well, right? 
They'll probably all say, you know, they reject. They reject. And Lone Tree's tributized. Big guns, big money. Can we tax them immediately? Maybe, maybe not. Cool. We got 20 political power, 1.72 every day. That's not bad. And can we actually send supplies or volunteers down here? Oh, we can try. I don't want to send my special forces because they could die pretty easily. Since they're only 10 combat width. Malvin Moore. Ah, they did a lot. It's nice. I wonder how many planes we can send, though. Oh, uh, well, then again. I don't think they really have an airbase down here, which kind of sucks. Uh, guys, you probably don't need to keep your soldiers over there. Oh, they do actually have an airbase, so that's good. 30, that's not bad, actually. 30 is not too bad. Hang dogs. Come on over. Get a lot of air XP, hopefully, this way. They don't have any planes. Our guys are making a demo. This is one of the rare times I'm actually uh, sending divisions to another group in Old World Blues. Oh, they actually have 50. Wow. I'm going to do that then. Good luck. And Industrial Tech. That's not bad. Engine Development. Eh, that was okay. Industrial Tech. Industry is the backbone of any nation state, with technological stagnation being its scoliosis. As we develop our industrial base, we should seek the boons of technology to help us keep ahead of the curve. Should be very, very nice. Oh, they love attacking, don't they? Love, love, love that chicken. Wait, no. Uh, love attacking. Let's see. Nine Mile Ranch, 122. Might as well call more stuff. Adaptation Doctrine, very cool. Ooh, milk maximum daily command power gain. We're actually using command power quite a bit. Let's grab some recovery rate though. I love this, what, what the, whatever this is. Fallout Tech Tribal Folder. I love it. Uh, go in here. Maybe we can help hold and defend with Diana. Malvin Moore. Ooh, I'm going to go with Reconnaissance, maybe? Maybe? Let's see what happens. Oh, improved field rations. Actually, with our focus tree, do we. What oh, focus tree? Land option. Do we get recon? We lose organization, probably about 0.5, maybe? And, oh, look at that! This actually got a nerf. I didn't realize civilian drafts only gives you 4% more recruitable population. Instead of 5%, we do get recon. But, oh, I did not realize that. That must have been in the update that I didn't even, probably even read. Oh. Well, it's good to know. If you ever needed to know whether or not... Ooh, William Hooker is reckless or not. Well, there's that. And SP, cool. But... That's interesting. Quite interesting, I'd say. Savage leader is the way we gotta go. Go rooted. And Savage Leader. But yeah, I didn't realize that uh, only 4% instead of 5%. Not like it's going to make a huge difference. At least we got 4%. 4% is still pretty good. Let's go and core this because we can. More manpower. We don't even get a factory, but we do get more slots to build stuff in, which is probably the most important thing here, actually. And we're slowly losing here, too. Oh, boy. 155 air XP. Good lord. Good. And if you guys need to, go and keep training. That'd be very nice. And... Actually, let time go on. doesn't really matter. Help us put down some more resistance. Cool. Industrial research. Let's follow it with harnessing electricity. Electricity, and many machines that would depend on it, is a hallmark of a modern and successful society. With a little focus put into the field of electronics department, or development, we'll surely be able to build a lot of electronics, or some interesting gizmos, soon enough. Yeah, this should be getting our person a lot of experience. Hill Spider, nice. Head on over here, actually, at this point. Since they're doing this, just just stay over here. It's fine with me. Look at all that. Two, whoa, oh, this is jumping for air XP. I love it. Infantry, we've got anti-tank. We've got chem companies. We're looking really, really good with that stuff. You know, don't even do that. I want to make these guys bigger. Bigger and better. Stronger. I like to get at least 20 combo with, but that's where we're stuck at right now. Go through this on there. That'd be fine. Nice. Throw on chems because he can. Why not? Doesn't really matter to me. Cool. Oh, they actually lost. Well, that sucks. Yeah, they still might lose. Radio. Don't mind if we do. Oh, look at that, too. Let's come back over here. That's pretty good. You can get even more output. Output is so good. I know there's other stuff we could grab, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know if Diana's really going to be able to win here. 
I would like her to be able to, but we'll see what happens. But in any consequence, hey, we get a, a more experienced general and field marshal, and that's pretty good for us. Yeah, I really don't understand why this is locked. Like, this is one of the last focuses we can do. I don't know why it's locked behind that. Like, why, why is there a, a gate, a time gate on that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I'm just ignorant, but that doesn't make any sense. Um, we're doing really well on everything else, so... And I'm just going to keep coring more stuff. Let's see, anything over here, maybe? Sediment Builder. Civilian factories are fun. I like civilian factories. Anything else around here? Can you get more non-core manpower? Uh, power Broker. Screw it. I'm just going to grab it anyways. It's, it's only 0 0.05 political power. It's not much, but whatever. Fuel the tribe, though. Extraction is the heart of industry. Factories need steel and automobiles, aluminum, and generators need fuel. No matter, no matter, no number of fancy what it's can power an economy, it's running on fumes. So it's about time we dug some gas out to fill our tank. Cool. Awesome. Now, why are you attacking, guys? Hang back, relax, and defend against Lanius. That's all you gotta do. Just hang back and relax. Enjoy the time we have together for... Time is fleeting. The one resource we cannot get more of. Time. We got plenty of war support. Plenty of stability. We could raid other countries, but that's kind of boring. Oh, wow. We need to stop making so many divisions. Or actually conquer a trade node. That actually would not be bad. We probably should conquer a trade node. Mercenary conscription. Great. And we'll go to civilian draft. Who dares wins. Awesome. More recon. Don't mind us. Don't mind us one bit. If that's the case, actually, we'll cut these guys back down to two. Because things cost money. And trade node cap. Let's see. Trade node. I haven't seen this in a while. Dog City is a good one. Twin Mothers is obviously good. New Canaan. Ooh, that's going to be a pretty spicy one to try to take. Huh. Go and hop out over here, too. Oh, okay. Never mind. Whatever. How many men have we lost in this front? 131. That's not bad. That's really not too bad, actually. And we have 14,000, or really 14 caps. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Fuel the tribe, and then we shall do some other stuff. Let's see over here. Yeah, we can fuel the tribe. How about all with their training? The Wasteland is a harsh mistress at the best of times for our troops to maintain operational integrity at any time and in any place. They need to be well adapted to the types of weather in the wastes. More organization and attack defense on core territory. Hot and cold acclimatization gain factor, which is not bad. We can do that one. We have to neighbor them, pretty much. Cool. Fuel the tribe is completed. And let's get through one more focus before we end the episode. Ooh, white legs. Ooh. Oh, that's a big ol' white legs. Oh, they might come for us, too, next. Ooh, that's not, that would not be good. We might be able to hold out against them, especially if New Canaan doesn't fall, but... Hmm. Hmm. Air equipment. We don't have any cast yet. And that would be pretty good to grab. What do we have over here? Beside an energy? That's not bad. More electronics research speed is pretty good. We really want to use that, though. I'm going to go with this one. Currently gets 0.78. So actually, instead of 0.05, we actually re realistically got like 0.06. A whole lot more, really. Yeah, I don't think Diana's really going to be able to hold out that much. Ah, he's, a he's learning, though. Um... And get more defense, why not? You'll be better on defense. 10% more defense is pretty nice. And hopefully this will give us some insight into how to deal with the Legion soldiers. Hey, backyard workshop. Let's grab some of this as well. Metalworking, because we can always improve ourselves more, 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 more. Good. We're making more military factories. Let's get some of that as well. Radio is always great. Let's grab some more encryption. Yeah, we can't get more research speed yet, and that's totally fine with me. And then we shall grab some new officer corps. Good fighters make an army not. To ensure that the boots on the ground are being led by the finest metals in the back, we're going to reform our officer corps into a well-oiled leading machine. More organization, starting level of new army leaders, and pretty much good stuff all around. Nice. Yeah, they're slowly beating up Diana. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't want to get in circle just in case, though. So. I'd rather defend here. I'll be honest, I'd rather defend here. There you go. Get in that action. Hills fighters, not bad. 
How much money do we have still? Five? That's not a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm just found something. Hey! Ver vertebrates? Whoa, 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 whoa. Would you even find vertebrates? That's pretty darn impressive, I'd say. Poly polyalphabetic cipher is nice. And yeah, got a couple more days for that. Civilian reconnaissance is pretty good, too. Uh, reliability is okay. Division attrition is not bad. Reinforcement plus 25%. Militia skirmishes are pretty good, I'd say. 25% chance per hour that units in reserve are able to actively join the fight. Not bad. Not bad. Still defending. What happened to our other division? Okay, seriously, where are you? Oh, you're up here. Okay. There you go. Good luck, maybe? God, Lanius. How do they keep this up? So, so many attacks. Invite the Frumentari. Plenty of manpower. How about y'all? You still have some manpower. Gator Maws. Cool. Oh, we have maxed out on air XP. I didn't realize that. Holy cow. That's a wee bit nuts, I'd say. Fully trained. Can we core any other pieces of territory? Oh, that's like nothing. Three. You get three factors for that much? That's not bad. Yeah, three, three more factories. Not great, but hey, 61. Oh, actually, it's four factories. New officer corps, and that does end on OMEC. Our Ouroboros Military Engineering Corps, the new face of entrenchment and military construction, directed by our finest architects and carried out by some of our stockiest warriors. The future of entrenchment is ours today. Entrenchment speed plus two, but not more entrenchment. Weird. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow as we watch the White Legs beat up New Canaan. Continue helping to help out the failing twin mothers. And have a good time, period. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.